tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News. Good afternoon, Bill Bryant and Barbara Bailey for WKYT News. We are getting a break from the storms right now, but it does not look like that will last long. Um, we are expecting more strong storms later this afternoon. Let's get to meteorologist Micah Harris for an update on this WKYT First Alert Weather Day. Micah, how's it looking? Well, about 95% of us are getting a break. The other 5% down in the far, far southern zones, we have a tornado warning in effect, and that goes through 1 p.m. That's there for McCreary County. It's rolling out of Wayne County. So Wayne County, the actual rotation is now out of your county. You'll see that tornado warning trimmed here in just the next couple of minutes. But Whitley City, Stearns, Pine Knot, it's heading right into your direction. Now let's go ahead and zoom in and see where uh, exactly this tornado warning is located. McCreary County, Wayne, and Whitley. Now, Wayne, like I said, it'll be trimmed off of you here in just the next couple of minutes. But Whitley County, more than likely you're hearing their sirens go off. But this will just barely clip you. You can see that down toward the far south and southwestern portions of Whitley County. That does not include Williamsburg. It does not include Saxton. Let's zoom in and let's see where this actual couplet is. It's not very pronounced. I mean, you could see the difference there. And you'll get some really strong winds out of this. And not only that, but we have had golf ball size hail reports out of this back toward Monticello and Wayne County. So it does have a history of putting down very large hail within this right over the cooperative region and sliding down 92. Once 92, you get toward 27, Whitley City Pine Knot. This will roll just to the south of you guys there, Whitley City Pine Knot. You're next in line. And also that Stearns area that you'll start to see this move off into your neck of the woods. Now, Here's the deal. This has just been put on. Now, this is a severe thunderstorm warning that's been tacked onto this. Uh, and, and more than likely, they're saying, well, we're not hearing about any more rotation. We're not really seeing the couplet uh, tighten up just a bit. Uh, so they're going to tack on that severe thunderstorm warning. But nonetheless, watch out for this storm. It's a big storm headed toward Pine Knot and also that Whitley City Stearns right in that area here in the next 10 to about 20 minutes, guys. You know, down toward the Jellicoe Creek area there of uh, western Whitley County. Thank you very much, Micah. Well, flash floods devastated an eastern Kentucky community during last night's storms. One person is dead and several remain missing here at midday after the waters rose suddenly in Johnson County. Flood waters also damaged or destroyed more than 100 homes. Governor Steve Bashir has just issued a state of emergency because of the weather situation. WKYT Sean Moody is tracking the latest now. He begins our first alert weather team coverage at 12:30. Sean, Kentucky State Police say right now their list of people who were unaccounted for stands at seven, but it's constantly fluctuating. They say as they find people, other people are reported unaccounted for. Now most of the damage is up Highway 172 in Flat Gap. We weren't allowed in there to get video of the damage this morning. Along Highway 201, east of Flat Gap, several parts of the road were washed out. Police said the flood has killed one man. That's the only confirmed death. There will be many families affected, though the emergency management director estimates that by the time they get a big picture of the damage, 150 homes may have been destroyed. Police said the search and rescue effort is challenging. The officials have mapped out the area. It's a systematic grid type search. Uh, predominantly on the ground, um, and obviously we're dealing with the difficulties out there of debris and still some austere weather conditions and some very dangerous conditions in terms of the water. Now we do have a photographer along with Kentucky State Police up there in the damaged area. We'll show you that video a little bit later on. In Johnson County, Sean Moody, WKYT. Sean, thank you. And volunteers are putting together care packages containing clothing, baby supplies, and cleaning supplies at Johnson Central High School right now. And flooding damaged more than 60 homes in Rowan County yesterday as well. The damage ranges from homes knocked off of their foundation to ones that have been hit by mudslides. The homes were mostly in the Hayes Crossing area. Water also carried off cars from some driveways and right into creeks. In Anderson County, high water has trapped drivers on several roads. Three drivers had to be rescued in the north end of the county early this morning. In all, water flooded out eight roadways around the Lawrenceburg area. There were also reports of trees down, especially in the Rice Road area there. Investigators think that lightning from this morning's storms sparked a house fire. That home is on Hopewell Road near Salvisa in Mercer County. Now, there are also reports of minor flooding, power outages, and trees down. WKYT's Phil Pendleton continues our first alert weather team coverage 
with a look at the damage. The fire on Hopewell Road here in Mercer County is now a total loss. Now, some neighbors tell me that they heard the storm blow through about 5.30 to 5.45. Now, I'm told that the man who lives there lived alone with his dog. One neighbor says she woke up and saw a bright orange glow across the street, then realized the home was on fire. Officials tell me the thought right now is that the home may have been hit by lightning. It is a total loss. One person lives here, but I'm told that he was not home. I feel sorry for him. His house burned up like that. They're trying to salvage some pictures and things over. Not a whole lot left to salvage, I don't imagine. Now, I mentioned the man lived there alone with his dog. The sad news is, is that neighbors tell me the dog did not make it out. Now, we have had some reports of some other minor damage, some trees down and some other minor flooding and high water in this area. We're still trying to track down developments of all that. We hope to have more for you later today. But for now, in Mercer County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Phil, thank you. And officials say Bluegrass Energy did have several power outages. We're always tracking storms on WKYT.com, and you can too. Use an interactive radar to zoom all the way into your neighborhood. Download the WKYT news and radar apps to keep up with the weather when you're on the go. And share your pictures and video with us. Email them to eyewitness at WKYT.com or use the hashtag KYWeather. State police suspect foul play in a house fire. Investigators found 68-year-old Lawrence Sizemore's body inside a burned home on Highway 577 in Clay County yesterday. They have not determined a cause of Sizemore's death or for the fire. The autopsy is scheduled for later today in Frankfurt.